This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 6. Alrighty. I already see code here, so I just, I am gotta test it. Oh, ooh, it's like a racetrack, race car. Huh. Alright, and then I'm gonna check out, okay, that's the only animation we have. Alright, let's see. Slowing things down. Now that you've had some practice speeding things up, can you use the counter pattern? And remember, that's just the plus minus thing. The can uh, counter pattern to slow sprites down. Do this. The car is going to run into the water. Oh, I thought it was a finish line. Oh, that's a river? Oh no! You need to use the counter pattern to slow it down. Use the sprite dot velocity x block with the counter pattern to slow the car down by 0.25 as it moves across the screen. Discuss with your partner what do you think will happen when the car finally stops. Hmm. Um, hi partner. What will happen? What do you think will happen when the car finally stops? It will start- oh, it's gonna- if we're slowing it down by 0.25, that would be subtracting from its original velocity. So, wouldn't it move backwards, I think? Um, alright, let's test this out. So, here's our variable car. Oh wait, what was the challenge? Add code that makes the car slow down only if the velocity is greater than zero. Oh, we'll definitely have to do that. Okay, variable car equals sprite. So, we're going to spawn the car at 50x, somewhere over here, and 200y, okay? animation we set to blue car and then we set its velocity to 10 without an outline in our draw function we create this background fill blue uh, oh we create this rectangle which is the uh, river i think now we want to update the sprite speed so i'm going to go to variable equals okay and then i'm going to go to sprite and if we're going to change the speed okay Let's see, does X increase or decrease as I move across the screen? It looks like X increases, right? So X is 0 here, 400 here. So we want X to decrease to slow it down. So I'm going to go over to math and use subtraction. I'm going to get rid of these extra spaces just so we can see all of the code. I'm going to use subtraction. Now I want to look at my variable, oh, my sprite's properties. And we want to change velocity x, which is its left and right speed. So I'm going to grab sprite velocity x, sprite velocity x. I need to change this from sprite because we named our sprite car. And then it said to change it, slow it down by 0.25. So we need to subtract 0 0.25. Keep in mind, our draw function runs 30, 25 or 30 times a second. So it's going to constantly run backgrounds this burly wood whatever color that is we want to create this rectangle it then updates our car velocity it takes so the first time through it would be 10 so it then says car velocity is 10 minus 0.25 the new car velocity x is uh, 9.75 then it draws our sprite goes back to the top it blanks the whole screen this is happening 25 times a second we don't even see it creates this river again and it then updates the velocity again, decreases the velocity from 9.75 by 0.25, so now it's 9.5 over here, redraws the sprite slightly forward, but it's moving at a less fast or a slower speed. And again, let's test it out. Ooh, and backwards it goes. So they want us to see if we can make the car stop in the challenge, only if the velocity is greater than zero. So what we're going to do for that, I think, is a control, right? So an if statement, because we're checking if the velocity is greater than zero. I'm going to grab this and drop it here. I then want this update thing to go there, okay? And then we are going to use some math here. We want to check. We want to use a conditional statement. We are checking if something is true. Um, so I'm going to use the less than sign. I am kidding, I'm going to use the greater than sign, right? So if the sprite's x velocity, ah, I'm going to hit control Z for undo. If the sprite's x velocity, 
is greater than zero, I need to change sprite to car. So if the velocity is greater than zero, now subtract 0.25 from it. So if it's greater than zero, the code's going to drop into our if statement. It runs the code inside of it, and then it keeps going. It draws the sprites, goes back around, blah, 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 if greater than zero. Oh, it is still greater than zero. Subtract zero, 0.25 and draw the sprite, keep going. Once it is not, let's say velocity is now at zero, right? The car has stopped. The computer gets to this. If car's velocity is greater than zero, false, not greater than zero. It then does not run any of the code inside the if, it just drops to the bottom. And then it runs again. Is it greater than zero? It's not, so it skips it again. So the car should stop moving then if it is, uh, if the velocity has reached zero. Let's test it out. Ta-da! Perfect. So that's the code that worked for me. Great, onward.